What is the goal of YouTube self-improvement? Why do I spend hours writing, researching, recording, and editing? I'll tell you, it's because I want you to live a happy, proud, and fulfilling life. I want this because at my core lives the golden rule, which is to treat people how you want to be treated. If someone has the secret sauce to happiness or to end suffering, I would want them to not only share with me, but with the whole world. I believe at its roots, this is what self-improvement on YouTube is about, helping others. But unfortunately, with all good intentions comes corruption because of money, fame, and selfishness. Those who see an opportunity for self-gain with no regard for others. This corruption needs to be stopped. In this video, I'll be exposing corrupt practices being performed by various self-improvement YouTubers in an attempt to change the self-improvement space on YouTube for the good. And I want to preface that I am not trying to cancel anyone mentioned in this video, but I'm trying to encourage positive change in the community and raise awareness, hopefully preventing people from being exploited or scammed. By the end of this video, you'll be aware of three corruptions that you need to be on the lookout for in the self-improvement side of YouTube. That way you can stay safe and keep improving. First, we have clickbait. Take this channel as an example, Kenny Bender. This channel has over 163,000 subscribers through 174 videos slash shorts, and his channel dates all the way back 8 years. This channel would ultimately be what inspired me to do this video, which is funny because I'll let you in on a little secret, I actually really like his videos. They're well edited, funny, transparent, and just overall entertaining. But unfortunately, whether being purposeful or just being naive to it, he's exploiting the struggles of his viewers for his channel's gain. He uses sexual thumbnails to drive clicks on videos about becoming sexually disciplined. Now, in another niche with a different audience, I would say do what you want. But concerning the niche he's in and the topic of the video, I can't help but feel as though he's taking advantage of this target audience. You are tempting your viewers with the same thing that you are directly discouraging. This is like taking a group of alcoholics to a liquor store to discuss why you shouldn't drink alcohol. I'll be honest, I get why he does it. Getting views on YouTube can be extremely tough, and when you finally find a formula that works, it can be hard to let it go. But morally, exploiting your viewers' struggles for views is wrong. Especially when you are making multiple of these videos about sexual discipline, meaning you're aware that your channel is attracting this audience, but yet you use these thumbnails multiple times. You need to be aware of your audience, and if you truly care about them, then you need to do what's best for them. Doing what's right should never be put on the back burner for anything. The next corruption is one that everyone and their grandma is doing. Courses, courses, and more courses. Like I said, there are some people who are just in it for the money. Now, we can never really know what someone's motives are, and you are free to use your money however you want. But realistically, guys, self-improvement isn't hidden behind some paywall. Becoming the best version of yourself does not require Joe Schmo's $1,000 self-improvement course. The information is out there and it's 100% free. I'm also not saying you aren't allowed to have a paid course, but I believe it's a moral obligation of the creator to provide proper value. Because whether you like it or not, you're taking advantage of people's insecurities, people who are coming to you at their lowest. So you better properly help them if you're going to take their money. The reason that this frustrates me is because these creators, at least most of them, must know that their courses are not worth it or just a complete scam. Just know that not one YouTuber, including me, has the secret sauce. There is no reason to buy a course unless they are providing you with something that you can't get otherwise for free. Unless they're keeping you accountable, I just can't see the value. Because that's the problem that most of us have. Accountability. The ability to actually do things that you apparently want to do. Lastly, and the one that pretty much sums up all the problems on this side of YouTube is not actually caring about you. Caring about others is what makes the self-improvement community great. The opposite is what makes it terrible, and that is not caring about anyone but yourself. This is what causes clickbait at the expense of the viewer, what causes all these courses that the creators couldn't actually care less about if it helps you as long as they get your money. These scammers, these frauds, these are the people who ruin the self-improvement industry. Please don't be fooled. These people will lie straight to your face if it means building up their brand. The Andrew Tates, the Sneakos, all the people who are willing to say and do whatever it takes to get famous and make money. People who are willing to sacrifice their own morals for the sake of wealth. The people who will sacrifice you for their success. While I don't even consider these people self-improvement influencers, others might disagree, which is why I included them. To that, I would say if these people are self-improvement influencers, then Alex Jones is a news channel. These people are just putting on acts. They are actors creating entertainment for self-gain. My goal with this channel is to be fully 100% transparent and actually help people. That's why in my video, How to Actually Stop Wasting Time, I suggest deleting YouTube. Because I know that it can be addicting and keep us from doing the things that matter. I'm never going to try and pretend like there's a one fix all solution. Which is why I always say you gotta try things rather than prescribing it as a fix. Because for you, it might help and for others, it may not. This is the problem with other channels who will try to lie to you about the effectiveness of their advice. 
who would never suggest deleting YouTube because it could hurt their brand. These people who would rather see you consume all their content and not get better, staying stuck in the loop of watching self-help content and having nothing change. Because they don't care about you. I do though. I want to see you guys improve. One day you may graduate from watching my content, and when that day comes, I'll be so happy for you. My channel will still always be here as a reminder if things get rough. All I want is to remind you guys that you need to be cautious of those you trust. Not everyone is looking out for you. I'll even encourage you to doubt me and my motives because it's only fair. If you want to improve your life, you need to start doing rather than planning. You can watch as many self-improvement videos as you want, but if you never do the things that you want, working out, reading, building a business, these things will never happen. You are at the helm. You are in charge. So take charge and make change in your life. You are your morals, so never ever put them on the back burner. Take care everyone.